Well, this is a conference about retail payments and I guess the challenge uh, is to provide in the future a means of retail payment in Europe that would be suitable for everybody. In that regard, in that respect, Libra was a bit a sort of wake-up call. Well, I want to share the uh, strategy of the euro system to improve uh, retail payment systems in Europe. The ECB traditionally has three roles. A role as an operator of core uh, payment infrastructures, uh, a role as an overseer of private operators, and a, a role as a catalyst to make the system better. Digitalization is transforming the sector which is fast becoming a data-driven business. This makes it urgent for the EU to develop cheaper and quicker payments across all its territory. We have already made important progress in the area of payments, and work on payments will continue to be an important priority in the agenda of the next European Commission. TransferWise is a global technology business that's building the smartest way to move your money around the world. One of the big things that we've been working on is transparency in international payments. And here in the EU, we've got a brand new regulation that comes into force in April 2020 that will save millions of customers lots of money. Three years ago, we launched the smartwatches with smart features. And one of the first requests of our user was to add payment on the devices. So it really came from the user uh, just to uh, add this as a, as a great experience for their daily use. And for Fitbit, it's not a new business that we are doing, you know, it's uh, to add more experience to our user. So um, it's really a win-win. We are relating with our customers, of course, through the traditional channels, but mainly through the app, Millennium app, which we just uh, launched a couple of months ago, it has been fundamentally enhanced with lots of functionalities to have our customers happy with using the app for everything that they need with the bank. I think cash will carry on being, uh, uh, have a strong presence. Maybe it will continue to decrease in the same way as we've already seen in Sweden. But since cash has a strong features uh, that digital payments doesn't have, it's not <coughs> dependent on electricity, it's not dependent on being online, mm -hmm. I think there will still be situations where, where, where cash is a very attractive option. This conference is important because payments is right at the heart of financial services and is going to drive a transformation in broader financial services. I'd also say for us working in cyber it's incredibly important because payments is arguably the most important target for cyber attack. We see the ECB proposing a European payment scheme for 2021 that is the right move and banks will be able to do a competing business to the technology players if they play it right. But the question whether they play it right will have to be answered by them. The National Bank of Belgium has recently redefined its vision and part of the, our uh, vision is to be at the heart of the euro system. We are also in Brussels, which is the capital of Europe, so I think it fits very well to organize this conference here in Brussels. Thank you.